In the middle, Agnesia Scheffler in charge of proceedings. And the referee, the burden on the referee is considerable. New rules, lots to contend with. And I'm sure you've got your own opinions on the new rules. Some of them even make sense. The rules, that is. So, in terms of it, let's see how things evolve. Let's see how things shake out. But most important, let's get to the fighters. Well, here she comes, has to open the curtains herself there, but we should be looking for an opening early in this one. Kim Jandi, world bronze medalist, of course. Took a silver recently at the Turkish Open in Ankara. Can she go one better and get into the final here? Well, Juliana al -Sadek, Asian Games champion for 2018. And then here she comes, out of the smoke, into the fire. A couple of bronze medals at the Grand Prix already for Juliana. Stacking up against the silvers for Kim Jandi, one of them which was here in Rome. So they know their way around this venue, safe to say. And in terms of those new rules that we mentioned, I'm sure you're getting to grips with them yourself. And I'm certain that I will get most of them wrong as we go along. But the main one, a bit like rock, paper, scissors, best two out of three. And who's going to be rocking it here in Rome? Final discussions, final bit of coaching. And a spot in the final at stake. Well, the referees can start the game, and it's going to be a complex day for all. Kim Jandi, a big breath in for the 26-year-old. Juliana al -Sadek. Marginally the shorter of the two. But regardless of the tail of the tape, it's going to be who can get the points on the board. The same points, of course, as standard for the kicks. But the watchword of the day is less gam johns for clinching. And we've cut down in the confusion. You can see a little gam john graphics on the bottom right and left of the corner screen as well. So here we go. Al-Sadek, she's trying to lean back, of course, keep her head out of the way. Kim Jandi, the typical Korean style of footwork, a little fake to intimidate. Al-Sadek circling, trying to read the play here of Kim Jandi. Of course, no 12-point gap in these semis and finals on the world stage. Maybe you're getting used to that at the open competitions. But it's not been open scoring so far. Push away there from al -Sadek. A swing and a miss. And halfway through the first round already. Nothing to report. Into the clinch they go. Back leg under the guard from al -Sadek. Kim Jandi pretending with those back leg turning kicks, trying to get into that danger distance. Loves a little head kick when she gets there. Good front leg counter there from al -Sadek. Anticipates it nicely. And could that prove pivotal on the PSS? Nice wide shot from the camera team. But the gap not widening just yet for al -Sadek. 20 seconds to go. Excellent again from the Jordanian. She'd love to take this first round at the first time of asking. Staying active, doesn't want to concede the gamble. Kim Jandi understandably coming forward. Clock ticks. The referee implores them to fight. They do just that. And in the books it goes. One up with possibly two to play. Juliana al -Sadek drawing first blood in this one. As you can see, the graphics here. Hong wins the first round. And this is how. And 
And the concentration etched there on the face of Yulina Alsadek. Super start. And patience paying off for her. Jan D with work to do, but time in which to do it. So here we go, second round, first semi-final, day two. Women's under 67s. And it's Al Sadek with the minor advantage at the moment, that one round in the books. Kim Jandi coming forward, twisting kick. In with a shout with that one. Bit of a low kick there, referee lets it roll. Good punch on the way through. No love from the judges, but here comes the work in the clinch. As you'll know, they'll be separated after three seconds if they fail to engage properly. They allowed to work out of the clinch. But Kim Jan D getting caught in the headlights again there. A signal of intent. Oh, headshot not far away as well. Very passive so far from Kim Jan I wonder, potential injury perhaps? Has to be quite static. Still options, but Gamjom given. And that could prove pivotal. Al Sadek nice to come forward now. Does so with a punch for the third one and lands a nice short sharp left on the inside. Follows it with a big back leg boot as well. A beauty from Al Sadek. She's been good value for this half a minute left in possibly the last round. Goes with the back kick, leaves the door open. Jandy tries to sneak in. The clock ticks on the ambitions of the Korean. She's had a couple of Grand Prix silver medals so far. Looks like she's not going to make it into the final. Almost with the back kick from Kim Jandi. But excellent work. Yunia Al Sadek. Absolutely superb. <laughs> Two rounds will do, and they will do very nicely. Yulia Anna Sadek from Jordan. A huge sigh of relief. And a prayer of thanks as well. And she's got more than a prayer when it comes to the final. Yuliana Al Sadek. Hands in the air, could call it Air Jordan if you like. But it was a slam dunk of a shot there, landing that one underneath. Jandy caught in the headlights and in the body. The Korean will take bronze. And Yulia Anna Sadek will take her spot in the final. And the crowd filling in. As Yulena Alcidek files out into the final she